What's up guys, it's Weston here. So welcome to another episode of Topical Tech. And you can see by the title we're looking at if a dedicated graphics card makes any difference for video editing and rendering. So I'd just like to thank Turbo Tech for suggesting this topic and his social media and channel will be linked in the description. Now, if you want a shout out in next episode, then leave a suggestion in the comments. And if I pick it for next episode, then you will get featured in that episode. So if you wanna do that, then leave a comment down below so anyway let's talk about this topic now and it's sort of yes and no in regards to a GPU making difference now personally for me it doesn't and that is because of the software I'm using now I'm using Adobe Premiere Elements 14 which is a cut down and watered down version of Premiere Pro now it works fine for me I can uh, upload in 4k it's got some decent effects, they're not amazing, uh, text transitions and all that stuff. It's a pretty basic software in comparison to something like Premiere Pro, but for me, it works fine. So yeah, if you've got a software like that, so the cheaper end stuff, uh, so like Sony, um, what is it, Movie Studio or uh, Premiere Element, then as you can see by this screenshot, you probably won't be able to utilize your graphics card for video editing and rendering so you can see the only option is hardware and that is all done on your CPU and this is backed up by some video that I shot on my camera so you can see here I'm editing some video and this is 1440p gameplay footage for another video I'm working on and you can see the utilization of both the CPU and the graphics card so if we focus in on the CPU you can see it's going anywhere from between 40% utilization all the way up to 99 or 100% utilization during video editing. And that is pretty much all done on the CPU. And that was if we go up to the same bit, but look at the graphics card, you can see it's not being utilized at all. It's all running off the CPU. Now, when you're rendering, it's exactly the same story. So you again, we'll focus in on the CPU part and you can see utilization is at 100% video editing. Then we go on to GPU again and you can see it's not even been utilized at all. So it's kind of redundant. It's not doing anything for this task. Now, don't let that put you off. If you use software like Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, then you can actually utilize the GPU for both video playback and for video rendering. And you can see by the screenshots on screen now, there's different settings in uh, the settings menu and it's sort of in sub menus. And you can see that there is actual GPU acceleration or boost built into the software. So that means if you check that little box, it will actually utilize your GPU and help in video playback and in rendering too. So what that'll do is it'll just give you smoother playback and it'll also give you quicker rendering times because it's utilizing both the GPU and using its horsepower, but it's also using the CPU as well to boost it and get your rendering done much quicker. So that's, uh, that's that. Now, so let's answer this question. Does it make a difference? Well, like I said, it varies between what software you're using. Now, if you're using the cheaper software, then likely, you're not going to be seeing GPU acceleration as an option and you'll only see hardware which is basically just full utilization of your CPU. Then if you've got Premiere Pro, Vegas, then you can actually utilize your GPU. So have a good look at what software you're using. If you're using one of those two pieces and there might be more as well, but if you've got those, go into your settings and have a look for GPU acceleration or GPU boost click that option and you'll notice much better performance. But if you don't have either of those software or either of those options, what should you do? Well, I found a good tip would be to get a solid state drive. And I've talked more about that in this video, so you can check that out if you want. But a solid state drive will give you a smoother playback because it's faster so it can grab the data quicker. And it will also give you uh, much other improvements in other areas of uh, your computer as well. There's then also RAM, so having more RAM does help. Now you can see, I'll put some screenshots now of RAM utilization during video editing. And it's actually pretty high depending on what type of footage you're working with. And then there's the CPU. Now this is the main thing. 
if you've got older software or cheaper software, then having a good CPU does help. I'm using an i5-6600K and that works pretty decently for 4K and it works perfectly for 1440p and for 1080p. Now, if you are working in 4K footage, then I'd suggest looking at a i7 Skylake or an i7 KB Lake or possibly even one of the new Ryzen chips as well because that will be able to handle that and um, not need to rely on the GPU because it's got all the power in the actual chip itself. So anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. So let's just summarize all this information. So, do you need a GPU for video editing and does it help? Well, depending on which software, yes or no. Cheap software doesn't make a difference. You may as well not even have one in. Uh, for more expensive software, Premiere Pro, Vegas, then it does work and you can utilize a GPU. If you've got the cheaper software, then a better CPU, more RAM, and an SSD would go a long way to help make your experience better. Or you could just save up, buy the more expensive software and then utilize your GPU. I don't know, whichever works out cheapest for you. But that is pretty much everything for this video. I know it's been a little bit of a thingy, but we've summarized it. So yes, it does work depending on what software you use. And that is pretty much it for this one. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. A PC build series, what I'm in the middle of, which will be linked in the description. And I've also got loads of reviews and all that other good stuff coming too. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all on the very next one.